I'm delighted to say that we're joined today by Thompson Hall. Um, he's going to speak about his exhibition um, at the moment um, in London. So, Thompson, thanks for joining us. So, um, the, the first question would be, what has the residence of the orchograph mean to you as an artist? And how did the opportunity come about? Yeah, you know, it came about through me um, you know, being mentored for a year, doing a transitional leadership course with someone called Mark Seeley, a director from Autograph. We talked about some of the things I would like to do in the future. And, and one of the things from that conversation was talking about doing a residency and, and, that, and that sort of like, well, that way. So I was well, at the residency for three months. So it's sort of like something that I wanted to do and to also to help me concentrate more in that time and space and also to take my work seriously. So. Yeah, that, that, that's good. Yeah. Um, so can you tell us something of how it's been? you know, like what support the gallery has gave you uh, to help you develop your work and, and social change? They did well. They gave me time to have space, to work in the space, and to be supported by artists, a bit of facilitator, action space, Lisa, um, as well as somebody from Livy, who works there. So, yeah, so I've got lots of support while I was there during the three months. So, be able to you know, talk about some of the ideas and talk about some of the work I want to make. Whether it was referencing the drawings I had in the room. So the your your work has um it's be, it, it's feelings your feelings about the world uh, that we live in <laughs> to, today. Um, but sum up the the key uh, the, the key kind of the anxieties. Um, of our age of today? Key anxieties. Well, I suppose the key anxieties is a lot of things happening in the news that leaves a lot of uncertainty. A lot of people, you know, struggling to get by and things like that. I can keep hearing about from the cost of living and stuff. So it's kind of it's making people be more, more, more aware of it. A lot harder than what kind of sense uh, you mentioned that the um, that the cost of living there, but is there anything else that um, because of COVID as well? Um, yeah, I suppose it's the, the pandemic as well because it's mm. like it's sort of like you know, flagged up a lot of difficult issues that have uh, never been discussed or talked about before. So it's sort of coming to the surface and. Being, ex you know, being exposed and it's making people more, more you know, it's making people feel uncertain and uncomfortable that we're talking about some of the issues that that never been spoken about before or forgotten about. Mm. And now it comes to service. Yeah, yeah that, that, I suppose like, that's a good point that you made, Thompson, because like, COVID for me, uh, as a disabled person myself, <laughs> has uh, shone a light on kind of like different issues. But would you say the same thing about about your disability, and, and that's why you you've kind of like expressed your your feeling through kind of art. Yeah, yeah, because I've kind of making work that that helps people make sense of it because most of it that we see. In the media, it's very complicated. It's very difficult to make sense of. I was in within my work is trying to make it easier, sort of like using that step by step approach to understand mm. each topic, so that it doesn't yeah. get too jumbled up and confusing. Yeah, yeah. So, um, again, um, what what we were talking about early on is can you t uh, can you talk us through? A few of your, the the paintings and um, why did you arrive at these kind of themes, and also um, how did you choose the color for the films as well? Because they're very colorful. All oh, right, yeah, okay. Um, 
you know, well, well, the eroded empire, that was to, that was talking about um, colonialism and about the Commonwealth, you know, what does it mean in modern times and, and, and does it have any relevance? And it's sort of like making me think of, it all came from looking at the honours list you know, as well, you know, like the and that, and, and looking at the work but perhaps sort of come off and what does it mean all the time and what's the distinct relation between the two, you know, and, and knowing that it's, uh, that on one hand it's talking about the past, like the empire, and also it's talking about the present time, the commonwealth, which, which some people were feeling that has no relevance to them anymore, because a lot of these countries now that we keep hearing about coming Republic and they know what the queen is the head of state, things like that. So it's kind of one of the things I picked up on the series work based on that, really. Uh, and, and also, like the colours that you, you chose from the paintings, did you have an idea in like, your head, or, or did you, you know, speak to people about it, or maybe, you know, they take advice? Um, I don't know, it was just, I just, I don't know, I just, to, to, just, I tend to use colours where it's quite spontaneous anyway, so it's mm. kind of like, I don't really think too hard on, 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 on the colour palette too much, it's more about, for me, it's more about the composition of what I'm doing than about what the colours are, so it's kind of me thinking, you know, what would work Composition, how it's uh, presented to people. You know? So it's more how the composition would look if I were to use various colours. What would it say to people when they look? So, so how did the idea of the exhibition um, of your work um, like, um, come about? Did you, did you kind of plan for from from the beginning, or did you arrive at the decision um, when you were developing the work? Um, I think it came about through me um, developing the work, really, um, over a period of time and having various discussions with people at the gallery and how to put all the work together. Deciding from there what would work and how would it relate to the stuff that they talk about at the gallery. Because they talk about similar things to the work I make. So it's sort of like sort of like made sense that I was in a place that talks about all these issues, these difficult issues. Mm. I make work about difficult issues. So it's kind of made sense and it kind of worked. So it's sort of like over three months just sort of like developed the work and see how it goes from there. How it, you know, how it picks up from other things. Yeah, one of the questions that I wanted to ask because obviously, kind of like artists is like a one man job, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Like, so, when you uh, start, um, you know, different exhibitions and stuff like that, do you, do you start and then halfway through you say, no, no, that's a this is quite a bad idea or, you know, and you, uh, you can like, change it halfway through. Yeah, I tend to, tend to like, I tend to just like plan it out first, do like a plan and then work out what goes where and to see if I'm happy with it. If I'm not happy with it, then I'll like, occasionally change it, you know. But, but most of the time it's kind of what sort of work I want to be seen. So how how do you have a sense of how you like people to um, remember um, your work when they see it on display and what comments have you had so far about the the exhibition uh, orchographs at the moment? Um, that's some good things. Yeah, that's some good comments about the work. Positive. Um, uh, 
and there's some people that are like, and that's that the exhibition had come up to me and spoke to me and asked me about some of the subjects I chose. For like examples, um, okay, an example was um, when, when, like, when we had a big fish and my family came and my brother was one of them, and he was talking about one of the things about the empire and, and, and about the, the one of the pictures that represented the Commonwealth. I think it was one of the paintings of the little fabric. And one of the things he said is, um, and he's saying, well, the Commonwealth is actually a good thing for empire. And it kind of made me think, what do you mean by that? And it kind of got what you meant. So it was kind of comments like that. And 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 it was also nice that people have said that they can relate to some of the issues that, that I'm expressing in my work. And it relates to them. So how how does it make you feel, Thompson, when you see your work on exhibition? And you know, I bet you you're so happy to see that you know your, your work on on display. Yeah, it does make it does give me a sense of pride to know that mm. people are interested in to know more about what I do, about what my work is, and how the colours like. Sort of like um, invite them in and draws them in, and then when they look at the paintings, they look at the colours and when they look at the actual images. It makes them step back a bit because it's something that they can understand and relate to. Because I'm talking about a subject that that they know and know about. So it's kind of yeah. So it has like. I suppose my paintings have that kind of effect, something where they look at the colours and oh, that's nice and bright and cheerful. But when they look at the actual images, they realise it's about something serious. So it's kind mm. of has that effect. Yeah. Do Do you ever feel that when people uh, comes up to see your work, um, you actually encourage them to take up painting as well? Um. Well, I don't, I don't really. Not really. I don't really ask them to take up paint, but but I do sort of like make them think about some of the subjects I'm covering within my work. Like start a discussion and debate about some of these things. Like talk about them a bit more. And, and just yeah, and then you sort of like encourage people to take some time to think about some of the things instead of just not really. Ignoring it or just forgetting it, you know, just have it in the back of their mind. So, what's going on about? So, so when this is finished, Thompson, and uh, what other plans have you got uh, in your next move in your career? Um, I'll probably want to go off and do something like my like retrospective exhibition, which I Yeah, it would probably you know, take some work or maybe some way out of it. Something that yeah, something that I would like to do one day. Yeah. So I have like yeah. 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 Charts my career from say the very beginning to now, like right, to the present time, maybe. I don't know. See how far the work has developed over that time. So, what would you say to people listening to this podcast that want to, um, that I, you, you've kind of like, it's inspired people to take up painting there because that like, they've listened to your wonderful interview and uh, the, the work that you've did. So what, what would you say to uh, encourage people to get into uh, kind of, whether that could be painting or growing or any other kind of thing, uh, any kind of other arts? Um, I suppose I could, I could 
I would really encourage them to yeah, express themselves a bit more, which is and um, yeah, I suppose they can. Just, I suppose they can play, they can process, and and think and talk about what they'd like to do, and mm. process some of the things they want to do, and and not to be afraid to sort of like be, you know more expressive about um, yeah. how they feel. Because it's very hard to, sometimes I find it, it's hard to say how you feel sometimes. And this is like a good week to be able to express that how you feel. So so maybe that's maybe that's something they can use as an outlet to help them express themselves. I suppose that's good advice that um, you know, like don't be ashamed or you know, whatever, just put down the way that you're feeling because some days you might have a bad day and other days you can have a good day and, and all that. So, yeah, so that's good. Okay, so, um, Thompson, I would like to ask, like, you, you went to a number of different exhibitions before you arrived at the, your the exhibition that you're currently doing Orchid Graph. So, um, did that kind of, like, inspire you or did that kind of help you in any kind of way to... Um, to come up with the, the decision? Yeah. Um, 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 I, I went to the exhibitions to, to generally to get lots of inspiration and people that, that, I, could, that I admire. For example, like uh, Alfred McNeish, I was inspired by the textiles, why some of my work is made of fabric. Colors that she used. She was like an innovator in the 60s of bringing color to the whole country. Um, Larry Echipong is another one that I liked, that one I saw. Uh, he was somebody that did a lot of things around some issues that I cover in my work. So, so, and, and then it was other, other Oh, yeah, the Lock Between Islands and then saw uh, Take Britain. And that's talked about um, a lot about, um, about immigration and, and cultural history and sort of like mainly from about my family history. So there's sort of various mix of things there that, that I picked up on. And then I saw Ingrid Pollard when I went down to a Camden Arts Centre. Um, oh, yeah, the MK Gabby listed. I went to Ingrid and I saw Ingrid Pollard, the things that she was doing there, the work that she's making, got postcards and how that sort of work. It's all about family history as well. Yeah, which so it's sort of like reasoning yourself is sort of like starting to be sort of so I tend to put more myself, more my patients in the work. Well, and um, Thompson, thanks for <coughs> thanks for joining us on the, the podcast and good luck for the rest of your exhibition. Yeah. 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 Been on for a while now, so thank you.